Hey everyone, welcome to Green Learner. I hope all of you are doing great. So today I am going to start a new video series about Java. So this video series I will be covering everything, every important concepts about Java as well as new features that are coming in every release. Okay. So this video series is going to help you in building a proper understanding about Java as a programming language and also it will help in preparing for the Java interview question. In each video I will be picking up topic and we'll cover everything around that. I'll try not to take more than 10 minutes for each video. First topic for the video I have selected about the random number generator, right? So I'll be talking about this video in the series. So let's go ahead and start. So secure random. Secure random is the class that is there in the java.security package which will help in generating secure random numbers. If I talk about the use cases about the random number generation, one of the prominent use case is the OTP and the second one is the random IDs that you want to create for your uh, uh, employee database that is there. Uh, use case of the random number of streams, right? A stream of integers that you want to post to an application. This will help you, uh, this random number generator class will help you in generating that as well, right? So this class is there. So this class provides a cryptographically strong random number generator algorithm and this uses cryptographically strong pseudo random number generator algorithm. So some of the names of those algorithms are native PRNG and SHA1 PRNG and there are others as well. And the, the algorithm name depends on the operating system that you are working on. So let me go, let's go ahead and see this in a program how we can make use of this secure random number. So this is the simple Java project that I already have created. Right, and this is the secure random generator demo. So let me create a main class here and show you how you can generate the instance of secure random generator. So this is the class. This is the one way that I can create the instance out of this. So I was talking about the algorithm, what it is using. So if you create the instance using this method, it is making use of the SHA one PRNG. This algorithm it is making use of that. Second way you can create the instance of this one is uh, is using the get instance method right get is get instance is strong is the one method that you can use get instance is the one way that you can use you have to pass the algorithm manually right and this there is third method where you can pass the algorithm and that seed provider seed concept i explain you in a bit if i choose this one i have to provide the algorithm that is there so sha1 PRNG, this algorithm that I can give here. So this throws an exception here. So it is clear. So the algorithm that you're passing here, if it is not there in the system, it is going to throw an exception. SHA1 PRNG is the default one that is there. If you create the instance using new keyword, other name of the algorithm that you can use is Windows PRNG. This is the one algorithm. If you, if you are in the Windows operating system, you can make use of this one. So let's keep it the first one and see how you can generate the random number. S dot next. So there are, uh, as data types are there, there are as many methods to generate the random one. Next INT. And if I pass it 100, so it is the upper bound that it is taking. So it will generate a number which is less than this 100, right? So if I print this number here, so this is the printer that I give here. Any number that is less than 100 will be generated by this one. Yeah. So as many times as you run it, so it will generate the rank, it will generate different number, right? So there are many other methods about the secure, uh, secure random. So let me put that uh, get algorithm. It is going to give you the algorithm that it, it, it is using get provider. It is going to provide that next double as in the next int it is going to give you the next double so if you are not giving any parameter here any bound here it is going to give any random number that is there in the double range right and next int it is the same one as is this next int without any bounded value right and i was talking about the int stream that you can create from here so stream size it is going to give you the uh, uh, stream of integers uh, of size 100 right so if you are not giving any stream it is going to be unlimited stream right so it will never end same as int stream you can get the long stream as well as double stream here and next byte i was talking about so you create an array of bytes and put the size of the byte and if you pass the array of bytes into this next bytes method it is going the secure random uh, next byte is going to fill that next byte array 
with 100 bytes, 100 random bytes that you can make use for the make use of, right? So if I if I run this one, it is going to uh, print all the things that I have done here, right? So I have not printed this int which is a limited one. You can print, go ahead and print that. So you see all the things it is printing here. So SHA1PRNG is the algorithm. Sun version 1.8 is the provider of that algorithm, right? So let me show you the get instance method also here. If I uncomment this and put a C here and give it here and run this one again. So it is going to run properly for that. So it is basically to show you how you can generate the random number, uh, how you can generate the instance of the secure random, right? So it is Windows PR and Z algorithm it is returning, right? So this is how we can use the secure random to generate the random number. So so coming to the next thing that is there. So I was talking about the seed, seed value, right? So when any algorithm is implemented to generate a random number, it needs a some base value. And that base value is provided by the seeds. And if I talk about the Java util dot random is there, for that case, uh, the point at which the random number is being generated, the time is stamp is taken into consideration. And if user, if any attacker is there and he can guess the time is time when it is generated, he can guess the random number that is being generated next, right? And with the secure random, it is very difficult to guess that because it is going to take into consideration very different, very complex concept that is there in the uh, CPU, CPU cycle, clock concept is there. So it takes into consideration of those and puts that into complex calculation and then provides the base value for that. Right. So for that, it is diff uh, so that so it makes very difficult to guess the base number. So seed is for that every instance is initiated with some initial seed, which changes every time we generate a new value. So how we can uh, by default, it is being generated by the system. But if you want to give the seed value, you can get uh, you can also give it right. So how you can give that. So there is. Uh, set seed right so you can give it so any random number you can generate so if i want to give this one this byte as a seed i can and then going forward if i generate any next int or any number that is there so it will make use of this seed that is there right so let me give you the real time example about the otp generation that i was talking about so that program i already have written here so let me explain you what it is doing so this is the otp generator right so numbers uh, in otp there are numbers from 0 to 9 so i have taken that one so this one i have commented this out you can make use of the random as well secure random is there so otp care length how uh, how much length you want with your otp right and this is the for loop that is being uh, looped into length one and this is the a random that is in use here so next int it is taking so how much length i want so it is uh, putting the max where max bound that is there so any number that is being generated is from here right and how this is how it is filling this array and returning this one right? and this is the main method where i am calling this get otp and passing the length that it that i want and here it is printing one right so let me run this program 120436 it has generated right so anytime i run it it is going to be different right so it is going to be random yeah so this is all about the secure random algorithm so before leaving just let's take a uh, take a high level look about the differences between random and secure random first it is about the size so random java util dot random takes into consideration about 48 bits whereas secure random is taking into consideration 128 bits uh, in the numbers so you can think of the permutation combination and how difficult it is to guess breaking the code it is very difficult so when it uh, it comes to breaking the code it is about the delay that you can put into so it, it in any secure random number generator it is based on some algorithm or some base value so uh, it is not uh, that you cannot crack that but uh, how much delay that you can put so that can that delay can be one day two day one year two year ten years hundred years million years that's all right so it is the algorithm that you put into play to generate the run, uh, number right and seed generation i have explained about and these are some references that if you want to dig more into it you can go ahead and check out that right so this is about the secure random i hope it was worth investing your 10 minutes into this so i'll see you in the next video with yet another topic in the java right so take care bye bye stay safe